and if you're new here, my name is Dolores and I make all kinds of sweet and savory dishes for you. Well, even though fall is next week, it's only a few days away, so I decided to make something fall slash Halloween-y for you now. Mm -hmm. Oh, and before I go on, I'm not dressed for Halloween. I had a blood vessel burst in my eye and the thing has been solid red for a week. It's starting to dissipate, but in case you think my eye looks a little weird, that's what it's from. All right, so I think I'm gonna make this a quickie. Yeah, because I know everybody's busy and you don't wanna sit here all day and listen to me, right? And if you're uh, a subscriber of mine, thank you. And if you like what you see today, hit that subscribe button and the little bell. And that's all that is to it, because I have a lot of yummy things coming up for Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. So, what is the diva making for you today? Well, I am making for you Halloween Oreo Brookie Bars. Yes, I am. Now, does everyone know what a Brookie is? A Brookie is a combination of a brownie and a cookie. And you make it... And when it's all done, you cut it into bars. And you get the best of both worlds. It's delicious. But today, you're getting a special treat. Mm -hmm. You're getting brownies with two cookies. Mm -hmm. It's going to be chocolate chip cookies, Halloween Oreos, and the brownies. So enough chitter chat. Let's get started. So I preheated my oven to 350 degrees. We're gonna take either an eight by eight pan or a nine by nine pan, whatever you have. Certainly don't go out and buy yourself another one. And we're gonna just give it a light spray. All righty. Now, for this recipe, what you're gonna to need to do is you're going to purchase the Nestle's Toll House Cookie Dough already made for you. It just needs to be baked. And I'll show you what this looks like. Let me get it open. I'm going to open up these Nestle's chocolate chip cookie dough and I'll show you what they look like. You see how they're already into little squares? So you don't have to see me now. I want to do a close-up and show you how we're making these. So you don't have to separate your chocolate chip cookie dough that's in squares. Just take it and place the whole block of it right in your lightly greased baking dish. See how easy that is? So I have that in there. Now with clean hands, you're gonna spread this all into the bottom of the pan. You see what I'm doing here? Very simple. No need to make your chocolate chip cookie dough. Trust me, for this recipe, this is just as good. So I'm just pressing it down evenly, one, two, three, into the bottom of the pan. Do you see what I did here? That was easy, right? Mm-hmm. So that's layer one of these Halloween Oreo Brookie bars. Now you're going to purchase, let me get it over here, a package of the Halloween Oreo cookies. They're the ones with the orange icing inside. Now you're going to take your cookie and you're going to line them in rows just like this on top of the cookie dough. And I'll hold it up for you in a minute so you can see it. This is an 8x8 eight eight pan, so you're getting four right across there. So let me continue to do that. This is so easy, this recipe. Now, before I started, I took a box of brownie mix and I made my brownie batter. So after I get these... Halloween Oreo. See how nicely they fit in this 8x8 eight eight pan? After I get these on here, I'm going to take my 
brownie batter. Let me move this over. You see that? Look at that. That I've already mixed. And I'm going to, here it is, it's already mixed, per the instructions on the brownie box. I'm going to throw in a few Halloween uh, sprinkles, just a few. Mix them into the brownie batter. And then I'm going to place this brownie batter on top of the Oreos. That's right. So let me put some of that on here. Here we go. And then I'm going to, with my spatula, evenly spread it over those Oreos. Oh yeah. Mm-mm. Can you taste that already? Alrighty. I have so many, so many delicious full recipes just waiting for you. So I'm anxious to get a start. Now I'm taking my spatula and I'm spreading the brownie batter over the cookies. You can see what I'm doing here. We'll take a little bit more of the batter to the corners because I want to make sure the Oreos are covered. There we go. Mm-hmm. Okay. See what I did here? Now I little Halloween sprinkles on top of the batter. There we go. All right. That looks so adorable. This one even happens to have little ghosts in it. <laughs> so let me hold that up for you. There you go. So this is going into the oven now, and I'll be back in a few. Don't go away. Okay, I'm back. I uh, took the pan out of the oven, and I wanted to let you know that normally you would bake it at the 350 degrees for about 45 minutes. Now you should check it with a knife or a toothpick in the middle to make sure it's done. Now I found that mine was not done at 45 minutes and they tell you to check it at five minute intervals after that. So I checked mine again at 50 minutes and it still was pretty wet on the toothpick. So I ended up putting it in another five minutes. So mine actually took 55 minutes, but every oven is different. So what I'm saying is if it's not done at 45 minutes, put it on five more minutes and check it then. If it's still not done, another five minutes, okay? And you're not supposed to cut this till it's nice and cool. Now, mine's eh, so, so cool, <laughs> but I want to cut it and I, I wanted to do a taste testing in the video. And also, you can store these brownies in an airtight container at room temperature. Um, if you're not gonna eat them sooner than that, you can uh, put them in the refrigerator, but they'll normally stay for about five to seven days. So let me try to give this a, a cut. So let me try to cut a piece of this so we could do a little taste testing. So, and with these brookie cookies, whatever you want to call them, most people do cut them into uh, squares or bars. So let's go. First piece is always so hard to get out. So hopefully I can get this out. Especially since it's a corner piece. Yikes. <laughs> All right. Hopefully, we'll see. I'm going to try to use my little square spatula. Sometimes it's small and I can get it in there a little bit better. So let me see how this is going to go. Oh. oh. Still warm. Look at that. Whoa. You see that? The orange from the Oreo in the middle? Oh, yeah. Oh, look it. I'll put a still in so you could see it. Mmm, let me see here. Oh, that looks yummy. Yummy in the tummy. Oh, I should have got myself a fork, right? But I'm going to taste a little piece of this. Oh, yeah. Mmm, mmm. Oh, my goodness. Mmm. The angels are singing. <laughs> the chocolate chip cookie on the bottom. Oh, the Oreo. The brownie on top. So good. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, I shouldn't talk food in my mouth. 
I'll put a few stills in for you. Definitely make this. I'm going to take a picture of what it looks like in the pan for you after I cut a piece. It just has that nice little orange in the middle. It's really good. It's like a brookie with another cookie. That's it. A brookie with an extra cookie. <laughs> all right. So anyway, thank you all for tuning in and watching. I appreciate it. I love each and every one of you. And if you're not subscribed, go hit that red subscribe and the bell because there's a lot more coming. Okay. See you soon. Toodles. No, you've been a good friend. And that's in the second ten.